Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, I got a whole bunch of these saws for free at a garage sale. Um, and just to kind of get them out of the way, because they most of them need a little bit of work and sharpening and that kind of stuff. Some of them, I'm gonna try and put some good ones together and and uh, then sell the rest, whatever I can't uh, make good, or if I have doubles, which I'm sure in here I have plenty, because I mean there's got to be one, two, three, ten, maybe twelve saws up there. But anyhow, I just built this peg uh, system just to kind of get them up off the uh, out of the way and off the floor and and kind of sort of take care of them so they didn't get too banged up. Anyhow, but since I'm going to be making this saw till, I uh, decided it's time to pull them off, figure out what I want, and uh, get rid of the rest. So. Just wanted you to I'll show probably you. have some videos uh, coming out here and there about me cleaning up my garage, trying to get ready to work on my Mustang. And uh, part of that is building this uh, saw tail, hand saw tail. And I looked all over YouTube. There's there's a few of them out there, but none that really work for what I wanted to do that I saw. I'm sure there's other ones out here like this. Don't say I'm not saying I made up this, but. Uh, this is just kind of something that has kind of come out of my head. I'm putting a few things together, different things that I did see, and uh, some things that I think will work for me. With what I believe is just some pine old pine boards that somebody actually had built shelves out of. You can see where the glue was. They didn't glue very well. Uh, it's just some stuff that I got for free. I think I actually pulled these like, out of a guy's garage at a garage sale. Um, they finished on one side, so I think they were just some shelving. Anyhow, I took those, and actually my dad's borrowing my compound miter saw, so uh, I went to his house and cut these up. Now, the, the size you use is going to be based on the materials you have and the amount of saws you have. I think I actually, for the amount of saws I have, made this a little smaller. I kind of measured wrong, but I'm going to go ahead with this one and, and try and make it work. Uh, basically what I've done, cutting down to size, and I actually took my miter saw and cut these. And I thought I could come back here and maybe finish these off at my with my table saw, but I think I'm going to go back and use my miter saw at my dad's house to finish these off. I was having trouble because I didn't have them put together, and I don't have any double sided tape, so I just came here and... I went ahead and taped it all together, and I'm going to finish making the cuts. But I need to figure out what or how many I can get in here. So I took my handy dandy uh, measuring tape. It's not a tape, measuring stick, I guess you'd call it. It's one of the old fashioned type ones. I don't know if this one's actually old. I think it's fairly new, actually, but it looks like one of the old ones. They work real good for marking stuff like this, trying to figure out where you want things. So. When I get it marked out, cut out, home, I'll get back in. Cutter saw. Um, I took my miter saw, put it at a 45 degree angle, and every half inch or so I marked them out, but I didn't do them perfectly. Yet again, this is another one of those things where I'm kind of using my scrap wood to make something close to what I've got in my head, and then after I've used this for a while I'll figure out what works and what doesn't work and then I might actually go buy some nicer wood and build it if I decide it's something I'll use and need. Um, so just using what I got. But I taped them together, went across with my miter saw that way and then actually that left a smaller edge over here so I flipped it around, brought the miter saw over and did this side as well. So if you're doing it with a miter saw, that's what you'll have to do uh, so that it's even on both sides. But I'm going to start putting it together and we'll go from there. Yeah, well I caught my first mistake. Uh, if I'd have been thinking a lot harder, uh, I'm going to end up with finished stuff because whoever did this previously had kind of an unfinished inside, finished outside. Unfortunately, when I cut that other one, I'm going to have one side is going to be finished on the outside and one side is going to be not finished, but regardless, I'm still going to use it. I'm not going to get rid of it now, so this was destined to be going to the trash at some point anyway, and I saved it from there, so it should be fine for my purposes. Here's a little tip and trick here for marking these out. I got a pre-drill 
into this here and I, I want to make sure that my drill my holes are fairly centered on this board here so what I'm doing is putting this board I don't know if you can see that up against there and then I can take and mark that and I know that when I drill I want to be in between this line and this line roughly centered and that way hopefully I won't be splitting the boards yeah. I put these on here's another little tip you stick this on here like that kind of holds it there now it's not perfect it'll tip over if you're not careful but it kind of just gives a little bit more uh, stability I guess you would say because I'm going to use that kind of as a spot to hold that up flat so that when I go to screw my screws in here it's I'm not fighting it and it's not trying to fall down on here so well, I'm not set up here so a few extra minutes of me being strange should have pre-drilled this too. It's fairly, fairly right. solid. Well, we just had a bit of a design change. Um, I, that's actually supposed to be on there and when I went to move it this piece broke off. There was a kind of a crack in it back here already. I thought it'd be alright but obviously not. This one seems fairly sturdy so what I'm gonna do is take and clean that up. Take my jigsaw, cut that and then take it and cut it along here and it, it will work. It is. I decided I should probably uh, do a shot before I started filling it all the way up. It would be kind of hard to see so um, i just put a couple in there and you can kind of see the the basic idea of what it's going to be. Now that one on top there is the bow saw. It actually doesn't fit in here because if I stick it in here it just falls down so that'll sit up top just fine. Um, so there it is, just basically a three-sided three box, I guess you would say, with 45 degree angle cuts in it, and the saws stick in just like that. Now, if anybody knows uh, why, because I haven't really seen anything like totally like this, um, is there a reason why I shouldn't store them this way? Will they bend weird or... Uh, something bad happened to them because you know I'd rather them not get messed up if there is a reason why I haven't seen something like this um, like I said uh, I kind of looked around most of them seem to be up and down uh, all the saw tails that I saw so uh, like I said if there's a, a reason why I shouldn't have it this way go ahead and leave a comment I'd appreciate it alright I'm going to finish filling it up Alright YouTube, there it is. Uh, freed up a lot of space because I mean that whole wall was covered with junk and it wasn't mostly even any of this stuff. Just I still got to put a few more things up but this will give me a whole lot more room here behind the door. The door still opens and closes just fine here. Plenty of room. Hope that it opens further than it does when I have the can sit there. But I did have to actually I cut the angles about a half inch apart, from, or no, one inch apart from each other, and I would definitely go more like two inches and make it a little bit longer. Uh, that is definitely a design change I'll do next time because I did actually have to um, skip spaces here and there to make all the saws fit. Uh, another, and that would have probably made it a little bit stronger too, where it wouldn't have broke down there uh, if I would have done something like that. Uh, I do got a lot of saws. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 or 13 saws in there. Uh, and, you know, uh, 2 foot by, I don't know, however long the saws are spaced. Uh, so that does seem like quite a few saws. Although, like I said, I would go a little longer, probably make the spaces a little further between. That would probably make it a little stronger and uh, maybe even look a little more organized. I just kind of slapped the saws in there wherever they were. I'm sure if I messed with them I could uh, take different size saws and make them fit a little better. I would definitely do a few things different as far as like I said the spacing. I would probably 
maybe make it a little longer although there was a couple saws that were short enough that they barely fit into the spaces so the seven I think it's 17 inches apart is about what I used uh, in between the two boards there so and I would have probably tried to figure out a way to hook it to the wall a little better than just because uh, I, I didn't make it far enough to actually hit the stud over here so I just actually put those cleats in all going across and then and hooked it to the cleats there so there's a few things that are different that I would have done but overall I'm pretty happy with it it'll stay there for a year or so and then after I get a better idea of what works and what doesn't on this I'll probably make a better one alright this is Sam jack of all master of none y'all have a good one